Chapter 5 Ben grabbed Harry. He crawled across the floor toward the door, dragging Harry along with him. He pulled against the door, but it was stuck. It was wedged against the cracked, broken floor. Now what? They were trapped. Panic churned Ben's insides. They couldn't stay here, but where could they go? His body was frozen. His heart pounded. His mind swirled so that it was impossible to think. Was this how Dad had felt when he knew his F-16 was going to crash? Dad only had recently been told, only recently told Ben the story of the crash. They'd been at the basketball court across from their house. Normally, Dad didn't tell stories about being at war, but something about the thump, thump, thump of the basketball had loosened Dad up, got him talking. He described what had happened when the engine exploded when the lights on the cockpit console had flashed like a video game gone haywire. Haywire. He was 25,000 feet in the air, rocketing through the sky at 500 miles per hour. Any minute, the entire plane could burst into flames. His only chance was to eject, to pull the big yellow lever that would, would explode him out of the plane and send him shooting through the endless sky. The roof of the cockpit, the canopy, was made of clear plastic and was designed to pop. Pop off when the eject lever, lever was pulled. A small explosive under Dad's seat would blast the entire seat into the air. Two parachutes would open, the first to yank Dad upright, the second to float him down to Earth. But what if the canopy didn't open and Dad crushed his head? What if the parachutes fail and he failed and he fell like a rock straight into the ground? Dad had heard stories about ejections that went horribly wrong. Plenty of pilots had died or were so badly hurt that they never walked again. These were terrifying thoughts, but Dad had been trained for these life and death moments to fly through enemy fire, to land on an aircraft carrier in a thunderstorm to avoid a missile aimed straight for the belly of his jet. The fear is always there, Dad had told Ben bouncing the ball and lining up at the free throw line, but you can't let it take over. He'd eyed the basket and taken a shot. You have to choose, live or die. If you let yourself panic, you're finished. Swish. Now Ben remember what dad had said to him next. What you learn in training is to close your eyes, dad had said. You breathe deep, you breathe, and breathe, and breathe, and somehow your mind clears so you can do what you need to do. Ben closed his eyes now. It was hard to fill his lungs. His chest felt as if it was wrapped tight in rubber bands, but he kept thinking of Dad's words. Breathe, breathe, breathe. And somehow his mind stopped swirling his body relaxed. I'll pick up here tomorrow? Yes. All right, let's do it.